Today we have Legend Nation leader Aaron Legend here, who is about a week out from another pro show that he's going to be going to in Vancouver. Aaron, welcome to the show. Yes, um, thank you for having me, my man. It's a this, pleasure. Another BAM and Legend Nation collaboration, as we like to call it, and I'm really happy to be here and happy to continue growing through the BAM movement and uh, start spreading health, fitness, and wellness throughout Toronto and more so Toronto as a hub, but uh, throughout the world together. So talking about Aaron Legend and his journey towards the Vancouver Pro Show, Aaron, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Who is Aaron Legend? Uh, you know, I've been fortunate enough to represent Team Canada at the IFBB World Championships. Uh, I was an amateur athlete going into this show, 100% natural athlete as well. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to not only represent Team Canada and win gold for Team Canada in 2014, I have also become Canada's first ever natural uh, men's physique world champion. Uh, and then throughout my career, I've been able to climb the ladder in the International Federation of Bodybuilding as well to become Canada's first ever qualified representative um, at the Mr. Olympia Showdown. And this is absolutely the peak of the peak in the industry. This is the highest point, the highest platform where athletes and individuals from all over the world are looking to attain. Um, a lot of individuals had stated that it would be impossible to do this naturally. However, that has been disproven. So we know about Aaron Legend now, a little bit more um, to his profession, but how about personality? What makes a champion a champion? Tell us a little bit more about your life as you prep for these competitions. What are the most important challenges that you face and overcome to be able to compete at a pro level? One of the things that I've noticed through my career and through this journey here is in order to be a champion, you have to already attain that mindset of a champion. Now, this necessarily doesn't mean going into a show or competition or anything, thinking and knowing that you've already won. Uh, it just means that you have to take the necessary steps in order to ensure that every variable is covered, every base is loaded, um, and you're doing what you need to do in order to be successful. So for certain individuals, this can mean uh, waking up on a certain schedule, certain time, um, you know, regimenting your nutrition or uh, focusing on um, just basic to-do lists and priorities of, of the day or whatever your craft may be. Um, one of the things that I love to stress the most is I always, no matter what, finish what I start. It may take an hour, it may take a week, it may take a year, it may even take a decade. Uh, but so long as I remain consistent to my goals and I see through everything that it is that I commit to, I know that I will be champion and I will be successful. And one of the most important things, as he has mentioned, is to stay true to your cause, to commit to all of your goals and obtain them one by one. Focus is a very important thing, especially in this industry. More than anything in life, you will face different distractions on a daily basis. I've been able to train with Aaron for a few weeks now and I can see the amount of distraction that enters your world, anybody's world really, when you are competing or when you are focused on one purpose every single day. Now, most people will ask, okay, we have the mentality and we have the commitment. What else? What else would you say, Aaron, makes you you. One of the things that I like to project to individuals, whether or not I'm working with them or whether I'm connecting to them through my Instagram and social media, is to find what makes you unique, to embrace that, and then to create and captivate off of that. Um, I've had some great opportunities in the fitness industry, um, you know, being able to pioneer the men's physique division as a natural athlete, but also as a Canadian athlete as well. Um, and through doing so, I've been able to truly discover myself and ask many questions of who is it that Aaron truly is? Who is it that Aaron wants to be? Um, now, yet again, in doing so, I've been very fortunate and, and blessed to have my followers and my supporters um, command a presence as a leader within me. And this is one of the most empowering moments of my entire life was once I became a professional athlete and started to get a little bit more recognition internationally, I would get messages from natural athletes from all around the world or Canadian athletes as well, 
and uh, and they expressed to me that they were grateful that they had uh, a representative and in fact a voice that would be able to um, you know transcend around the world to represent who they are so essentially I've kind of devoted myself right now to what the people need as they have elected me as their leader we are now focusing on your next competition which is the Vancouver Pro Show I believe you won the last year's show and you know you do have the bragging rights you do own the bragging rights and the ability to say how far you went to win that show um, let's talk about what you're doing this year to defend your title and to go further this year into your profession what are you going to do what are your plans so that you can help other athletes become better as well in fact, I am uh, currently retaining the title of the 2015 Mr. Vancouver Pro Physique. Um, and this has been a very great title for me to carry for the past year. Uh, I believe that it was Vancouver's, don't quote me on this, but I think it was their first show or the first show that they had just brought up in the past many decades is all I can really uh, state. Uh, my approach from that show, from the Toronto Pro Super Show the previous year, the judges, um, you know, they wanted me to come in a little bit more conditioned. They liked the posing, uh, but as a natural athlete competing at the IFBB Pro level, you know, they, they're commanding a little bit more from me as a natural athlete. And I love pushing that standard. I love challenging myself. Uh, the more you tell me that I can't do something, the more I'm going to go out there and I'm going to, and I'm going to commit to it. Um, this year I've made a few modifications. I made some modifications to uh, my coaching team as well uh, and I'm putting a lot more emphasis and focus on my posing routine right now and I'm trying to establish a very different style of posing uh, within the International Federation of Bodybuilding Men's Physique Division. Uh, that being said as well, I'm, I've used many different approaches to my nutrition and to my hydration as well. And I really do believe and feel that I will be making a strong impact here in the Vancouver show, which is gonna represent Canadian athletes and natural athletes as well. We are all very excited to see you perform at the Vancouver Pro Show, and we will be watching you uh, through their live streams. Another great thing about this industry is that they love to share what their athletes are doing. But some of the things that are not shared and we would like to learn more about is backstage mentality. Tell us a little bit more about how you prepare mentally just as you're about to set yourself up on the stage as Aaron Legend, the Conqueror. Tell us a little bit more about your, your, your mindset, what, your, what goes on in your mind. What is it that makes you clockwork on the stage? That's one of the most important thing is your state of mind when you're backstage. You're gonna see a lot of athletes that may be bigger than you are, they may be drier than you are, they may be leaner than you are, they may even be practicing their posing in front of you, and that may intimidate some other athletes, but it doesn't intimidate me. I know that once I've reached the point of being backstage, I've done absolutely everything that I can to ensure that I, that I deserve to stand on that stage with everybody else, and maybe even more so to be commended as a champion. Um, you know, I really truly believe that when you give your energy to other individuals and you focus on what they're doing, you're taking energy off of yourself. Um, maybe they're not harnessing your energy, however, you need as much of your own positive energy as you possibly can. I'm very unorthodox when it comes to um, my protocol and my approach backstage. I'm talking to everybody, I'm having a blast, I'm kissing babies, I'm shaking hands, I'm having the time of my life. Competing at the professional level has been yet again another blessing because um, what I've noticed is when I compete at the amateur level, a lot of individuals have their own insecurities and they're yet again too focused on what other athletes are doing. Uh, oh, I saw that guy on Instagram and you know he was looking like he was stage ready three weeks out, but he doesn't look like he's stage ready today. You know, well, how does that affect you? It doesn't. Um, so you only you give power to the things that you choose to give power to but as I mentioned for myself I like to focus on Whatever it is that I'm doing in my own approach and at this point I know that I've done all the cardio that I need to do I've taken all the proper supplementation that I need to I've slept when I should have and I've Lifted all the weights in the world that I needed to and practice my posing to that point. It's between me and the judges 
and always for the fans. Very, very important indeed, Aaron. Energy, guys. Energy commits to focus. Focus brings forward commitment. Commitment is the reason to success. And one last question for you before you go on and lift some more weights and eat some more macro secrets. And <laughs> of course, carry on that energy forward. We do always appreciate you showing support, showing love, and most importantly, showing leadership to those who are questioning certain things in life. You have always been sort of a lighthouse that shows the light to the people that think, oh, I am in the dark and I am lost. So again, as a last question, think about something that you would like to say to your friends or to people who are looking to get some more guidance and understand the function of these competitions. Why do you do what you do? Um, you know, it really comes down to one thing and that's just being passionate. Uh, I saw an opportunity in the industry to be a leader for people and to be a voice to project to other individuals and you know I don't look at it as there's a right way or there's a wrong way to do it there's my way to do it when I got into the competition um, you know it was a taboo and kind of frowned upon to talk about being a natural athlete competing in open shows a lot of people would say who cares um, the truth of the matter was there was no Canadian athletes on the Olympia stage at the time and you know I can't really comment on anybody else but I came up through the natural stream being a four-time undefeated natural world champion um, so I felt like it was my duty to continue representing my values my my principles my morals and my ethics and a lot of individuals don't know but um, the true story of where my competition history began was talking to my father and I showed him a photo of uh, you know the first men's physique guy FBB pros and I said to myself I'm gonna be a bodybuilder and that's why I told him now my father's of Turkish descent so I already knew that he was gonna be a little resilient to the idea but once I showed him that photo he said to me Aaron you can de you deserve to be up there with those athletes and I know that you will represent Canada on the Olympia stage and you will do it naturally he made one commitment to me and I had to make one commitment in exchange. He said, I promise you that I will pay for your flights, your food, your supplementation, anything that you need to go to these competitions to climb the ladder so long as you remain natural. He did his part and I did mine. And now the world can benefit from that as well. So thank you again, Busta Movement for having me here and uh, giving me an opportunity to share my story. Uh, I, you know. Being in Toronto right now, I see that there's a lot of great things that you guys are doing for the fitness and health community uh, and the wellness community as well. Since we, you know, um, have gotten together and collaborated, um, you know, I'm excited to talk about some of the projects that you guys are doing, but maybe it'd be a little bit more appropriate for you to share them. So, I mean, the things that we will be doing is are going to be more, uh, I would say, effective once the establishment opens, but. You can expect a lot of good things from Busta Movement. A lot more interviews um, to comprehend the athlete lifestyle, the mentality behind a champion, mentality behind survival, and more importantly, the force, the energy behind how to function properly, how to function effectively as a human being so that you can always develop and push further. Um, Legend Nation, Thank you very much for joining us, Aaron Legend. My man. Um, we will be hearing from you shortly about the Vancouver Pro Show. Guys, please <laughs> show him some support and please tune in to the Vancouver Pro Show to show support for all of the athletes that are going yes, to be competing. Definitely. Represent. Love what you guys are doing, my man. And yet again, thank you for having me here. Shout out to the homie Todd. And <laughs> uh, yeah, onwards, upwards. Till next time. Cutting apples. It's fun. Yeah.